My name is Terry Lilly, and I'm a marine biologist here in Hanalei on the north shore of Kauai. Over the last year, I've discovered an extremely bad coral disease on the north shore of Kauai that's been killing corals at lightning speed. This disease is a cyanobacteria, and it's so deadly that it kills corals at two to four inches a week. These corals only grow four to five inches a year. The other day, I invited Tulsi Gabbard, our congresswoman for Kauai and Oahu, to come over to look at this coral disease in person. She was excited to do so, and that turned out really good. Tulsi came over and got to go up on the boat with us in the Hanalei River and look at some of the digging and destruction in the wetland that's releasing mud out of the river onto the reef, killing many of the corals. Dr. Greta Abbey from the University of Hawaii and Dr. Terry Work from the USGS also accompanied us on the boat ride up the Hanalei River and then out into the ocean. Mike Sheehan gave Tulsi Gabbard a personal and close-up view of the Hanalei River since Mike's lived here most of his life and explained how the Hanalei River used to be an active wetland that filtered out mud and rainwater before it goes out into the ocean. But now the Hanalei River is being developed. Houses, ponds, canals, and dams are being built. We got to show Tulsi Gabbard firsthand what that looks like and how tearing up the wetland releases mud and toxic chemicals into the ocean. As we went down the river, I was pointing out to Tulsi many of the problems that are happening with the mismanagement of the Hanalei River. Not only digging in the wetland and building illegal developments, this material is clogging up the mouth of the Hanalei River itself. This is making it very difficult for boats to navigate in and out of the river, but it's also putting an undue amount of sediment on top of the coral reef. As we go out of the Hanalei River mouth over to the left side of Hanalei Bay, which is called Waipa, I was explaining to Tulsi that we have several creeks that flow into the bay and many people are actually digging and doing work in those creeks without the proper permits. Once we get to Waipa, we all got on our snorkel gear and Tulsi jumped overboard with Dr. Greta Abbey to take a little tour of the disease and infected reefs so she could see firsthand what it looks like. The water visibility was very poor. Dr. Terry Work also was diving with us along with Jeff Davis from KGU Radio and a number of other of the biologists that are very important in this project. Tulsi got to dive down and see firsthand this cyanobacterial coral disease. She also got to see a lion's share of the mud that has come out of the river and the creeks and has been deposited on top of the few remaining live corals. It actually really is a very terrible sight to see but it was very good to have our congresswoman go out there and see it in person. Back on board, safely, and without any problems in the water, we all took off back to the Hanalei boatyard. It was very obvious that Tulsi had a concern about the damage to the reef that she saw. In talking with Tulsi, I also found out that she's an avid surfer. Most surfers care very much about the reefs, and they also understand the relationship between the reef, the waves, and the land. 